In this Throne and Liberty video, I bring you what in my opinion are the best custom controller mapping options you can use for this game. I mean, there are many, many combinations of things for you to press, especially during that combat. And what I bring you today is the best setup that you can use if you're playing on controller. That's either PlayStation, Xbox, or even if you're playing on controller on PC. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent, which is this game's in-game currency. And to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. Winners will be picked from the comment section and announced in a few days. So good luck everybody. So playing on controller, whether you are on console, PC, uh, you may be struggling to get the hang of the many, many different combinations that you have to press to play this game. For sure, I struggled at first, as when you come from an entirely different game, you do definitely get confused, especially with a standard button layout this game has. Now, I changed mine, not massively, but to what, in my opinion, is the easiest setup for combat in this game. Changing up a few other things also at the same time for that quality of life. Now, I've taken a little bit uh, that you may recognize from Final Fantasy and a few other games. So, you have there your thing, and then you've come to play this game, you may recognize a few of what I've done here. Now, if you've already gotten used to the standard button layout uh, for that controller, try setting this up and see how you get on with it. If you do not enjoy it, guys, just simply reset them. Now, with Throne and Liberty, we all know the option menus and just a general UI in a game can be very, very buggy and glitchy. But a great tip to resolve this and to make navigating much easier in regards to every single menu, press and hold in that left thumbstick to go into that safety mode. What this will do is, guys, enable you to have a cursor which you can move around the screen uninterrupted. So, yeah. So, within the settings, guys, you want to head to the controller tab. Then go to that custom section. Now, many people I have seen here, straight up, guys, with the X button or square on PlayStation, they change this to that basic attack. This can work for some. But if you don't have paddles on the back of your controller, it means that pressing this and using your right thumbstick at the same time will be near impossible. And because that right thumbstick is super obviously important uh, in regards to combat and maneuvering around, uh, unless you have those paddles, this won't work for most people. So if I were you guys, I wouldn't change this whatsoever. Leave this how it is. So the first thing I would change here is the notifications group mapping. Here guys, you want to change this to on Xbox, RB and Y, and on PlayStation, that would be R1 and Triangle. A simple press of this will bring up those notifications which are top right of your main playing screens. The indicator will be on screen always anyway, although it will be something you'll probably rarely use if you ever need to use it. Like I said, it will be on screen for you to press. So once you press this from your main playing screen, you'll see it pop up. Uh, a simple press of B on Xbox or circle on PlayStation will bring it back to normal. Now, when you do start changing things in regards to mapping your controller, you will get a warning notification about other inputs being removed, but don't worry about these people. We will apply them new ones later on. Now, coming down this menu slightly, you will come to the ring menu. This is something you do want to change. Now, options of what you want to change to uh, in regards to, well, on your controller are stupid limited, very, very limited. But because this isn't an option you'll use very, very often, I don't feel it needs to take up a simple and easy to press combo or something which can be used as such, which is what it's actually doing as default. So I recommend you changing this to pressing in your left and right thumbsticks at the same time. Now, in regards to combat controls here, you want to leave these untouched too. Don't touch these. But your first skill preset controls, you do want to change. Here, guys, change the active skill preset to left trigger. That's on Xbox, by the way. On PlayStation, this will be L2. With the skill presets, these want to be your main four buttons. On Xbox, these are X, Y, B, and A. And on PlayStation, these are square, triangle, circle, and X. Now your second skill preset control, these should be as standard as right trigger on Xbox and R2 on PlayStation, but if they ain't, this is what you want to change them to with the skill presets as your four main buttons. Again, like we just said, Xbox, that'll be Y, B, A, and X, and on PlayStation, that's square, triangle, circle, and X. 
Now your third skill preset control, uh, the activate skill preset should be right trigger again. This is on Xbox, obviously, PlayStation it wants to be R2, but the skill presets here should be up, down, left, right on your D-pad. Now coming down guys to your secondary controls, and here guys you want to change up the swap weapon input to Y, uh, which is Xbox or Triangle on PlayStation. Standard on your controller, this will be up on your D-pad, which can get a little bit confusing depending on the game you come from. So yes, yeah, switching to Y on Xbox or Triangle on PlayStation, in my opinion, is definitely the best thing to do. Then coming down guys, you'll probably notice that uh, using these settings that the Astral Vision doesn't now have any input. Here guys, changes to a simple press on Xbox of RB and your left thumbstick in. On PlayStation, this will be R1 and your left thumbstick in. To turn off the Astral Vision, you are doing the same here, but a long press of that left thumbstick in. So yes, holding it down will turn it off. A quick press of R1 or RB and that left thumbstick will put you into the Astral Vision mode. Okay, so then guys, as you come a little further down, the switch skill page option here will be blank. Here guys, you want to change this to up on your D-pad. Basically switching this with that swap weapon button. And lastly for the controller mapping guys, is the Guardian Summon option here. Here you want to change this to RB and X on Xbox and R1 and Square on PlayStation. It is a feature you will use, but this way, not accidentally. Because these pairings of buttons have been removed from other button interactions, so you won't accidentally press something you don't mean to. But yeah, there we have it guys. This setup in my opinion is the best for the combat system in this game. Making the most out of both triggers, while at the same time having three fingers to press other stuff. Which upon me using it now for quite a few hours, it's definitely better over the default controller setup. So yeah, try it out and let me know what you think down below. Now there are many many different buttons in this game. It's clearly not properly optimized for a limited button controller but we have to make do with what we have on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more thrown and limited be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one